seen last week, uh, kids were finishing school, and obviously finishing school here in Northern Ireland. Finish it a wee bit earlier than the kids in England. Uh, not wanting to disappoint with them having no homework, I decided I'd give them a football homework. Now, if any of you join us from the first edition of Inside TW, you know that this is a brand new project, and uh, what we want to try and change is to make sure that players really get to know the game. And I just simply don't want to ask the players, well, what position do you play? Or simply make that judgment myself after a couple of sessions. We ask the players what position would they like to play, but they have to research it and show it to us. So, you know, they were given one week to go away and research this and come up with their homework. Um, here's just some of the copies that's come in that the boys have been working on. And, uh, you know, we went into a lot of hard work and a lot of detail. Uh, young Philly here, this is, he's done all this here just based on his position um, as a fullback. Basically, I asked them just to go and not only pick the position, but also the responsibility in that position. Uh, and, and the three crucial rules, what, what they have to do when they have the ball, what they have to do when the team has the ball, maybe not necessarily them, and of course, what they have to do when the opposition has the ball. So, a lot of them have went into great detail, and it's actually really interesting to read these. I mean, if you remember, our team is under 12, so a lot of the boys are 10, maybe 11 years of age, and... Uh, it's great that we see as well some of you putting into these systems and all that they might think where they might play uh, in, in, in their position. Also as well here, we've got a wee bit of background about the player. Um, they've listed their favourite players, which is nice as well because we did encourage that for them to pick one of their favourite players that plays in their position, that they can study them either by watching uh, you know, what's football's on TV or possibly even on YouTube at different clips and so forth. Um, and we've got to hear what qualities do we need to be to be a good midfielder. And uh, it's just great seeing all the wee points down here. You know, uh, young Blake here has put down to be a, a good reader of the game. Able to predict my opponent's next move. Good at tackling and challenging for the ball. To be able to find space um, as well as being a good passer. Ben, he's written out in hand here, but you know, he's got the great detail here. There's more than about three pages work he's put in. Here and it's really nice as well because where he's picked the modern player here in Van Persie as an example, he's actually went back uh, and compared him to the Dutch legend of Marco Van Basten. So I think this is absolutely tremendous. A child of 11, uh, you know, and I'm sure help with his father as well, you know, talking about the legends of the game, you know, uh, and Van Basten was certainly one of them. Uh, young Donald, who's a left winger, let's pick this guy here, Mr. Beale. And, uh, you know, again, this goes into great detail. And he's listed here what he feels is the most important points, attacking and in defending. And, uh, you know, attacking as a left winger, he's obviously put down, you know, he's got to deliver in, uh, cross the ball, being able to assist the strikers, score, make his runs, uh, be an option. There's defenders, strikers, and also his other midfielders, teammates, make unexpected runs and pass and move. He's also covered uh, what his responsibilities are in defending, and that's basically providing cover for the left back, Winning headers, using the strength, making tackles, making blocks, and clearing the ball, you know. So, really, really nice. Um, last couple just to share with you, because I think it's interesting as coaches, and I do think as well, uh, why not set this homework for your players and just see what they can come up with? You know, I, I think nowadays uh, we need to get kids thinking more, uh, we need to give them more responsibility, and research and things like this. I mean, they, they've got to love it. It's not as if we're setting them like a, a miles homework or something like that. This is a football homework that they've really got into. So young Josh here, he's put down his position as a striker. And uh, he's got a wee picture of Wayne Rooney in here, because he's basically saying his responsibilities on the ball as a striker uh, is that you need to have a high work rate. And he's used that as a good example uh, of Wayne Rooney being that. The last one here from Dino. Um, and he's compared his position with Iniesta from Barcelona. And how nice is this? So he's got a little picture of himself here, along with Iniesta. And uh, again, putting great research in here with including his data birth along with Iniesta's and the clubs that he's at and uh, their squad numbers and the squad number he would like as well. And uh, obviously his centre midfield, some of the points here, and this will be the last one to finish on. Um, you have to be fit to be able to play in centre midfield so you can get from box to box. Practice your skills to play in centre midfield and have good technical ability. You should be able to control and pass and receive the ball, not only with your feet, but using also as well chest and thigh. Uh, you should always be able to create chances as well and uh, to be able to score and he's used that example saying that's why these players are called playmakers uh, you should be able to pass the ball very well and uh, he's continued again another wee page here that he's got and um, mentioned about having good vision moving the ball around well 
um, being able to control and pass the ball in tight areas as you don't get that much space in the middle of the pitch. Uh, so picking the right pass to confuse the opponent. And this is great. What a, what a nice wee point here he's made. Before receiving the ball, quickly look to see which players you can give it to. Always be aware of who is around you. If you feel them closing down, take a touch to move the ball away from them. Try and put yourself in space to get the pass, get more time, space on the ball. Um, and he's finished off here saying basically every pass is important. A bad pass loses possession and puts his team under pressure. Short passes build momentum. And if you have the ball and they want to show and play the ball into space for one of your teammates to run onto or play the ball to defender and goalkeeper and start over again. So it's really, really, really good. You know, uh, Tino and NAS to the midfield. General pass masters love it, you know. So this uh, this is great. I mean, the, the, the boys here are very proud of them because they put a lot of hard work into this over the past week, and uh, we'll be setting other little projects like this as the season goes on. Uh, we'll maybe try and scan some of these and get them up on our on our site and share them with you through our channel on Facebook and Twitter. And uh, again, any comments or if any of you have tried this with your own players at your own club, get in contact. Let us know. Okay, I'll leave. Enjoy the session. Uh, today again you see sort of some of the different wee ideas that we've put into the players and you see the creativity that they play with and again as always our contact details are at the end of this video please contact us let us know what you enjoy what you like to see and anything at all that you'd like us to work on or give advice to you we'll be able to bring that up in the next episode all right enjoy <laughs>
right? What you have got to do as a unit, it's no good one person go on to try and win the ball and the other three sit back, because what happens then? If Dolan comes right away up here, but Cameron, Tim and Paul sit back, that ball is easy going to go inside to Blake, and Blake is probably going to find a big gap to play through. So you've got to decide when you press and win. And then, obviously if the Blues win, you're trying to play through to Josh, you understand? Okay? Somebody else can go, and that makes a 2v2 scenario. 